e explain how long were you triple for? Oh, just on 40 years, um, I broke my neck and um, I'd lost all feeling down my left side. Uh, the specialist did say that I was a walking paraplegic. They couldn't understand why I could walk. Uh, but I had a lot of pain over all those years. Um, I was on morphine and ended up going on to methadone in the finish for pain. Um, and I was on an enormous dose of that. When I was healed in October last, and I'm now off the morphine. It takes a long time to get off. I've got it off, off it in about a quarter of the time that, um, or a tenth of the time the doctor said I would. You're on morphine, and that sort of drugs for how long? Oh, 25 years. Wow. And so, and so, and when I saw you, you because you broke your neck, you you could have moved your neck, you raise your arms, could you? No, no, I could not raise an arm above my shoulder. Couldn't move your neck. Couldn't move my neck. Show us what you can do now. Yeah. Raise your raise your raise. Your raise. <laughs> it's just great. It's lovely. And so, and so having been a cripple for so many years, what was the reaction of your church and community when you got healed? Well, they all fell over backwards. <laughs> uh, it was a great thing for our church and a great thing for our the little town of Violet Town where I live. Uh, they're, they're still sitting on the fence waiting to see me back in the wheelchair, but um, I, that will not happen. The Lord will see to that. That's just great. Well, now, now, what's amazing about his story is this. He almost missed out on the miracle because because that night you weren't expecting a miracle, were you? No, I wasn't. What was that? Well, I'd been in Pentecostal church now for 25 years. I'd been prayed for oh, between 50 and 1,000 times. Nothing ever happened, and I would get very depressed. And at the time of the meeting, um, I was in a very bad way. I'd been helping the wife the previous week in the garden, and uh, I was in a real bad way. And I said to her, her, I would take her to the meeting, but I would have nothing to do with it. And when John started praying for people, I went out into the kitchen and had a cup of tea. And now, why did you walk out? I walked out because I wasn't having anything to do with it and I had to get out. Uh, yeah, I remember my, my wife's sweet, didn't she? <laughs> and yes, I came back in again for, I don't know why, but I came back in again and your wife grabbed me by the arm and it was George, our pastor as well, and um, took me out the front to you uh, where I was a little bit disgusted at the time of taking over from you were praying for a great heap of people and you came over to me um, that anyway the time was right and the Lord healed me it was if I can say it was just like I was sitting there with a filthy pair of overalls on and somebody just lifted them up over my head and I looked down and I could see my squeaky clean body and that's how it's been ever since, and it's just marvellous. So how does, it, how does it feel after more than 40 years been a cripple to being healed? Oh, it's unbelievable. I still each day, I um, look in the mirror, shake my head, um, and I'm outside doing things. It, it is just great. It is so unbelievable and so unreal to have a body with no pain is tremendous. You had pain for how many years? 42 years. Wow. And you know what? What happened is that when he came out, my wife and never pastor brought him up. He started to argue with me. <laughs> he wasn't going to get prayer. He said, this other's worse than me. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. He was arguing. He's trying to get out of this because you were avoiding being disappointed one more time, weren't you? Yes. You had enough disappointment. Yes, I had enough. But you never knew how close you were to a miracle. No, I did not. <laughs> There's people here tonight, you've been praying for many times, that you were so close to a miracle. And maybe like Peter, you feel discouraged. If you've been in healing meetings, you've cried to God, nothing's happened. You feel maybe someone's forced you to come here tonight and you just come because they forced you. But I want to say, Jesus is, the, is in the business of doing the impossible. Yeah. You know, explain just how bad was the pain you were suffering on that night. Just out of one to ten. On that night, it was nine and ten all, all night. I had tears down my face the whole night. 
um, the chairs similar to these, uh, not really comfortable uh, for sitting in a long time, and uh, for me anyway, and um, yeah, it was terrible. So how did it feel to have this pain for more than 40 years, one moment, and the next moment it leaves? Had it, were you in shock? I was in tremendous shock. It, uh, you said to stand up. Uh, I, there's no way could I stand up without my crutches. Uh, but you'd put them away somewhere. <laughs> uh, stole them, actually. <laughs> and uh, I felt naked, really, standing there with no nothing to hang on to. So how long were you relying on those for? For 40 years. Because you're in a wheelchair and you got out, out of the, on these crutches, didn't you? Yes, I did. I, I ended up, I was three years in the wheelchair and it was another friend of ours um, had a heart attack and um, it was a stroke rather and she came good but she went into a wheelchair and really wasted away in 12 months and I saw that happening and I thought I'm out of this wheelchair, I've got to. And um, so... I'd been, I'd been out of the wheelchair about four years by the time we had your meeting. Um, you see, but you could walk out crutches. But I couldn't walk without crutches, no. And I couldn't walk any distance. God bless you, Peter. Just walk back. Yeah, Give a Lord a hand, everybody. Amazing. <laughs>